Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is the Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, what I hear you asking is, hey Colonel, because that's my name, I've got loads of cash in the Car Mechanic Simulator, I've done loads of repair jobs, I've restored cars from the junkyard, I've done barn finds, I've been to auctions, tuned up high performance ninja machines, and frankly, there's nothing I can't do. How can one such as I, who is a total legend at this car mechanicry business, help in terms of finding a fresh challenge that may actually be impossible? Well, I reply, as uh, luck would have it, I have a whole fresh challenge for you to undertake. I'm undertaking it, and I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, but before we get to that, I'm going to create a new save just for this purpose. Bear with me for two to three hours while I get this save underway, and then I'll spell out exactly what this challenge is. Alright, I've kept you waiting long enough. So you want to know what the challenge is. Right, here you go. Can you run a successful garage without using the shop? Yep, there you just, can you can you make money without touching the shop at all at any point? Well the answer's probably no, but I mean, you know. <laughs> You've got to give these things a try. Anyway, uh, in order to uh, to up the tempo, or rather to keep myself honest, there are in fact only two rules. Rule number one, you're not allowed to use the shop. I would have thought that was fairly straightforward. And then rule number two, I'm only allowed to sell vehicles that run. Okay, yeah, see, I mean, rule, rule number two, that's where we're going to come unstuck, I suspect. But, uh, well... We'll give it a go anyway, but uh, I've got a, I've got a, this new save on the go, so I'm going to uh, I'm just going to spend two or three hours getting it up to a level where I feel confident we can make the magic happen. Three hours, he says. What a complete joke! Uh, it's now twelve hours into this save, um, and I've had a lovely time. Uh, and I don't think I've necessarily chosen optimal path in order to reach this stage, but I've I've chosen a path. As you can see, I've got uh, eighty six grand in the bank and. A lot of the work that I've done has been in order to build up the credit balance. Uh, I have unlocked a few bits and pieces. We've got the workshop is uh, is good to go. Is the uh, is what I've unlocked so far. I've got all the tools, uh, and then all I've got so far is the uh, is the car wash, and uh, the warehouse, and the garage expansion. Um, probably because we're going to need all of those. Yeah, yeah. That, well, we are. We are going to need all. That's why I bought them. Uh, I'm going to get a second lifter because we're going to need that. Thank you. Uh, which will get rid of the school bus. Uh, as far as levels are concerned, there we go. The ability to repair parts, I've gone with. A little bit of speed boosting, which was painful. It was so tempting to stick it all into speed boosting. And uh, and a little bit of, uh, of savings with the shop, just purely uh, to be able to build up my credit balance a little bit quicker, because we're now about to go and do the uh, the main event. Uh, there we go. We are. We're good to go. Right. First things first, uh, I'm going to sell everything that I've got. All of it, the works, because that would be cheating. Actually, no, yes, that would be cheating. Oh, yes, I don't, don't, but it's going to be so difficult. It's going to be ridiculously difficult. And the reason it's going to be diff de de desperately difficult is because there's some things that you cannot find in the junkyard, in which case I'm going to have to figure out other ways of making that work. Right, I have nothing. Yeah, yeah, we're completely barren on anything at all um yeah now or oh, one one note before moving on if you want to get up to this level so you've got the skill unlocks early playing an advanced mode in expert mode where it doesn't give you any hints as to what you're trying to remove and so forth uh after a little while becomes second nature it's no problem at all it's relatively straightforward and you get double the xp well worth doing heartily recommend it where you come up short, though, is in making money. Making money is a bit of a slog to start with. Then once you start going to the junkyard and uh, and flipping the odd vehicle here and there, it gets a little bit easier. Uh, the main bulk of my money, I came from going to a couple of auctions, picking up a couple of cars, and making some big bank. Anyway, you didn't see any of that. That didn't happen. We're ready to go. Let's uh, let's head on out to the junkyard and, uh, and, and see what we see. That's not the, that's not the button. Right, there we go, my second home. Uh, we're not going to explore the junk piles, not just yet. We're going to see what vehicles there are kicking about. Now, the more often you go to the junkyard, the fewer vehicles spawn. And I have been here quite a bit, but this is my first time today. And, uh, and typically, your first visit of the day tends to yield the most vehicles. But so far, 
Not so much. I'm hoping for three or four cars would be good. Now, you can go to a barn and get stuff from there, but they tend to be fairly intact. Uh, whereas going to the junkyards, well, you, you're going to get a heap, frankly, that needs loads of work doing to it. Uh, oh, crikey. Yeah, yeah. Start at the top, why don't you? Okay, all right. It's this uh, it's XJ220, isn't it? Is it? Is it? It is an XJ220. I oh, see. I, apparently, I know something. Um, right. Okay. Well, before we do any of that, uh, here is my standard operating procedure: is uh, you grab the vehicle and uh, then you start examining the parts. Not because we care, but because every single time it ticks round is another two XP, and that's solidly good. So we go both wheels. Now this is obviously it's a rear engine drive, but uh, you go you go click on both wheels or the wheel hubs. And you'll get a, a tick round of some suspension type parts and brakes and that kind of thing. Uh, then the chassis frame itself will get you a few more. If you've got a drive shaft, that'll get you another one. Uh, fuse box, that's usually worth one. It's worth two if it's got the lid on it. Uh, then the exhaust, it will do all the exhaust parts. Uh, and then depending on how much there is built into the engine, you'll also get uh, you'll also get a fair tick off the engine block itself. This has this is missing a ton of parts. All right, right. So rinsed all the XP there is to get off that, and uh, and that's all good. That'll become less important as time goes on. How much do they want for it? Let's have a look. Twelve and a half grand. Well, we're buying it. Yeah, project car number one. Yep, take it to the garage. Next up, we've got this uh, crap box Alenti Calliope. Uh, magic. I've already done the uh, done the search through on that. That's six and a bit grand. Yep, take it. We're not being fussy, no. Look, everybody, it's a Honda City Turbo. How exciting. Okay, yeah, I'll take you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five grand. Flip it by well, six grand as well. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, go on. Get in, the, get in the garage. I have picked up all three vehicles from uh, from this particular one. Sometimes you get as many as five or six here, uh, but none of the usual places are occupied. So there's, there's often one on there, and there's often one around the corner, and there's sometimes one parked up here. But I think because I've been looting this area regularly, uh, it's going. No, no, no. You need to. You need to ease off a little bit from that sunshine. Anyway, now on to the meat of the challenge. And you would think, well, putting the cars together is the meat of the challenge. You go, no. It's finding the flipping parts. That's the meat of the challenge. Uh, and that leads to uh, many a happy hour spent in this area looking for stuff that might be of value. So anything that is fifteen percent, so orange in the uh, strip at the bottom or uh, or higher. You, you can work with that. That's a that's a viable, uh, because the rules of this challenge are very simple. Is uh, you can't sell parts, right? You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to sell parts unless they're in the red. If they're in the red, you can sell them. If they're uh, anything other than red, you can't do anything with that. And then you're not allowed to sell a car unless it runs. It could be missing as many parts as you like, but it's got to run. Uh, now I think this Jag. Uh, drive shaft might be a might be a goer. Uh, there's a Jag gearbox. Um, now, I mean, these are those are good. I mean, they're, they're good for spinning, certainly. Uh, good, good for flipping to make some cash. Uh, but that's uh, it's no go yeah. You see, I mean, I don't know all the parts that I'm going to need. The stuff I'm specifically looking for, though, are uh, are any belts of any color. Right. I don't, well, I don't. I say any color. I'm looking for any belts that are uh, still serviceable, so uh, so orange or above, because they're tricky to come by. Um, the one that's going to trip me up, or the two that are going to trip me up, spark plugs and uh, and, uh, and bushings. They're the, they're the ones that are going to be the most challenging, because you don't find them very often. Uh, we'll take this, because obviously I'm now planning for uh, the future, as well as, uh, as well as this particular tweak. I'm planning for the future, so I'm going to buy absolutely everything that is serviceable, apart from body parts. For body parts, I'm just going to look for the ones that are, are suited to the vehicles that I've just picked up. So I'm going to be at this for a bit. Right, after about 20 happy minutes, I've, uh, I've, I've hoovered up everything that I want. The only stuff that I've left, and there's a lot of them, are, uh, are Porsche engine parts. Uh, there were quite a few that were in good d condition, but I'm just going to steer clear of Porsche. Don't, I've got nothing against Porsche, you understand. I don't, also, a heck of a lot of parts for a Ferrari. Uh, but uh, without a chassis, it's not going to do you any good. Uh, so let's uh, let's see what we've won, shall we? Yeah. 
Uh, three and a half grand's worth of kit. Now, there's a couple of bits I want to chuck out here. Uh, I've gambled on the uh, the Honda City Turbo 2 trunk lid uh, there, which is, uh, which is red rated. And I bought a couple of wheels and tyres that I'll probably get rid of. Uh, retrospectively, I'm thinking, yeah, this one, that's a 19, if I recall correctly. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. I've decided... No, the 19s you did... No, 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 I know. I've decided that we're going to keep 15 inches and uh, and 21s. 15s and 21s we'll keep because that way we'll be able to build up a collection of, uh, of wheels that are at least interchangeable. Tyres, going to be very difficult to get hold of later on. Now, in terms of did we get any good finds? Yeah, valve push rod. <sighs> Great. Just purely because on a V8, you need 16 of those and, uh, and they, they need to be viable. So that's nice. We've got a few, we've got some air filters as well. Got a couple of air filters. That's a, that's a nice one. This off-road tire was the wrong size. All right, we don't need that. Um, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a, a reasonable shake of body parts. Now, what I, what I try to do, you kind of go, well, some of these are absolutely no use to you at all. I go, not right now, but later they will be. These generic engine parts and stuff like that, you're going to want those later on. So uh, so I always pick up all the generic engine parts, but I leave uh, the uh, the body panels. Otherwise, you, your cup is going to run over with body panels for a car that you might never use. I pick up seats, I pick up steering wheels, although I've probably got enough of both right now. But that's 3,100, which isn't too bad at all. So here are our three Amigos, and based on what I've grabbed so far, I think... It might be the Honda that has the best chance of uh, of early completion. This 220, not a flipping prayer, a complicated beast. Uh, but the next uh, the next stage of evolution here is to strip everything, uh, take all the parts off, absolutely everything, because we're going to be cannibalising as much as possible uh, in order to uh, you know in order to feed the beast of the other vehicles that we've got. There aren't even that many uh, that many strippable parts on this. This is perilously close. That said, I'm not actually grabbing it. Give me uh, assemble mode. Thank you. Right. No, I, no, I know I don't have that. Oh, you're telling me that bit of glass actually wasn't a thing that I could take. Oh, goody gumdrops. All right. Well, I'll, I'll have that. Thank you. Yeah, take this off as well. All right. Yeah. And we'll take the tail. Last thing to do is take out the engine. Uh, there we go. Take it over. Lift A. Uh, and I say engine. It's it's almost just a block. Um, which is <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, um, but hey, that's why we're here. We're we're here to uh, to add some uh, add some level of difficulty to things. So we've got the uh, the chassis here all on itself. Uh, let's go and take this over to the car wash and uh, and give it a spruce up and see what sort of damage we're looking at. Uh, now the good news is that once I've once I've given this a wash down and then uh, taken my blowtorch to it and uh, and beat it into shape a little, we we could be in slightly better position but uh, this is going to be occupying space in my garage for quite some time to come until i can get the parts together uh, so yeah all these rusty bits here that's what's going to need welding all right i think that sunroof is a spare part you know all right well we'll we'll discover that presently then won't we if i uh can i just give me uh assemble mode and i want to take that off no you want disassemble mode i want to, I want to take that it's as part of the front clamshell maybe no weld it and then you'll know for sure i like your thinking uh right okay stick that over there give it a bit of a weld go on two grand yeah 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 i made of money um oh no no it's part of the chassis okay fine there we go beautiful nice piece of kit are these lights uh no no they're also part of the uh part of the main gubbins so that in itself looks super uh how much is it worth as it stands now obviously i can't sell it because uh it doesn't run seven grand okay well we're we're down five and a bit so far yeah that's okay right go and stick that back outside please and uh and swap it in for the uh the old honda city turbo yeah there are. You just sit there in the sun, gradually developing a, a modest patina. Right, I think, I think this is going to be our, our early winner. I worry a little bit about engine parts, but, uh, I mean, you know, that's all part of it because it hasn't got any. What the heck is that? That's a bike that lives in the back. Amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, I hope it works. 
because uh, otherwise we're in all kinds of trouble. Uh, right, go over here. Yeah, yeah. Whip out that last uh, that last relay. Hopefully that's not busted. Now, I mean, I'm not bothered about how many parts I need in order to get it running, as long as it runs. If it runs, I can sell it. And hopefully it will make a profit in doing so, at which point we'll rinse, repeat, go get new cars on we trot. Um, but there's there's going to be a fair amount of uh, of heading back to the... Are these race tyres? Uh, I mean, they're either slick or they are somewhat illegal. But fortunately, this was in the junkyard, so it's, it's not really the end of the world, is it? No, not really. No, that's flipping. The, the concern I had off the 220, though... Not one caliper looked like it was going to be anything other than red rated. Uh, same goes for uh, for uh, brake pads as well. They all look like this, which is just rusted to hell and completely useless. Can't do anything with those. Um, and I doubt very much that the car will be a runner if I stick enough of those on there. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. In fact, I don't know for sure. I'm going to have to do a little bit of experiment. Thank you. Uh, a little bit of experimentation. To see uh, if a car will run with uh, with red parts, and if it will, which parts can you uh, can you afford to uh, to have as as insubstantial? Because that might save my bacon. Uh, I've I've genuinely not. I've I've got a few tricks up my sleeve, um, which will uh, which increase in cheating uh, to to get the necessary spares in. But things like brake pads, which you can't renew, brake discs you can to a degree, um, but uh, bushings can't do anything about that. Pistons you can't do anything with those either. Yeah, that, that, I mean, getting hold of the stuff I need is going to be a mission. Right here we go, three road warriors ready to be uh, reassembled and turned into something glorious. Eventually, because this had I. It's painful. What I've what I've come up with so far is is absolutely horrendous as far as parts are concerned. I am missing so much stuff all over the place. Uh, but next objective, relatively straightforward, uh, out to the workbench. Now this is going to be expensive, and I've got nineteen pages of stuff to fix. So this is not only what I've just hoiked off those cars, uh, but also everything that I uh, I recaptured from the uh, from the junkyard. So. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of this for a while. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me some of that. And I need to concentrate, so uh, leave me alone. workbench action all done which means i'm now uh doing a combination of lathe work on the uh, brake discs i've managed to uh salvage and then we trot over there when we kick that off head over here and uh, yeah thanks for those uh we uh, we separate out the tires and the rims because some of those rims i'm going to be able to improve some of the tires i might have to swap onto different rims it all depends on the uh on the rim size uh, but uh, but hopefully i can get four that uh, that will work together which means two and two so uh, two at the back that are the same size two at the front that are the same size and i think it might let me get away with that i don't know i, I don't I, I perish to think how bad the tires are going to be poor i would suspect right well here we are in the warehouse it's uh, completely barren at the moment let's see what we've won uh so if i now sort all of my parts by condition uh, we'll see that there's, I mean, you know, we've had some good work. I managed to fix up a good few Honda parts, uh, but we don't, you're not interested in seeing, oh, uh, well, where's it gone well then? No, you want to see where it's gone completely terribly. Uh, hold on, we've got, wait, uh, what, five, seven pages. Seven, seven pages of parts are 100% now. And of course, some of those don't come from anything that, this 4x4 gearbox, I, I don't think I'm going to get that to fit anywhere. Uh, but if we go down to the bottom, we've got a... Oh, a barn. Hmm. I'll have that. Thank you. Uh, we've got a lot of just junk. One of those 220 rims couldn't do anything with it. If we look at the rims, I've got three. These are off the Honda. Yeah, they came up well. I've got two off the 220. They came up well. And then uh, 
the last Honda rim can't do anything with it. It was below standard where I can fix it. Uh, the last two 220 rims, same thing. But what I might try is putting these two 17s on the back of the Honda, stick two uh, of these 13s on the front and watch it fly. I don't think it's going to work. Uh, body parts, yeah, 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 it's not... It's not completely awful. It's just mostly awful. Uh, yeah, gearbox bit. I mean, there's there's a lot of promise. Here are all of, all of the uh, exhaust parts. So this is everything that I got from the uh, from the junkyard, and everything I took off the cars, and I can't fix any of it. That's pretty disastrous. Uh, and then if we go for uh, let's see how many viable bushings we actually ended up with. Uh, just bushing, singular. All right, okay, bushing. There we are. All right, so anything 15 and over is usable. Now, that's not dreadful. Uh, small rubber bushings, I think we're probably going to run up short. How many have we got here that we can use? There's another one. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, then let's uh, check on uh, brake discs. Uh, brake disc. Uh, we did okay on brake discs. Yeah, what about brake pads? Uh, brake pad. Yeah, fewer. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine wheels. I can I can put pads on nine wheels that will still work. Uh, oh, how about calipers? I didn't see many of those that I could fix. Uh, oh, your calipers and calipers. Oh, no, it's only one page worth. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine viable calipers and at least as many uh, cylinders. So that's all good. Uh, next, we're going to want relays uh, and fuses. Relays, I've got four of those. That's not going to be enough. And uh, fuse, two of those. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm going to need to, I'm going to put together as much as I can onto the Honda. I think the Honda is what I've got quite a few parts for uh i'm going to put as much of it together as possible and then see okay so uh so after several hours work uh, I've, I've ended up with this thing of beauty um it's it's magnificent we're missing a few body panels now that's not the end of the world because the only the only thing that is required in order to fulfill this challenge is that it runs and uh, at the moment uh it doesn't, because I haven't got an engine. I'm working on that. Uh, we're also short uh, the uh, filter cover. We're, we're down a couple of fuses, uh, which is going to be tricky to get hold of. There's one bit of suspension missing from the back. Don't have a fuel pump. Uh, don't have the uh, the window washer. We might be able to get away without a window washer, I'll be honest. Uh, I think, though, that the fuses, the air box... Oh, we need an ECU as well, which is... <laughs> uh, I'm never going to find one of those. Um... Uh, and that's before you get to the uh, uh, the engine parts, which is going to be challenging. Um, also, I've uh, I've got 13s on the front, but I didn't have, when I put this together, I didn't have two 13s ready to go on the back. So I put some 16s on there, which they don't quite fit. Uh, but I have, I have actually acquired some more 13s. Uh, I mean, the interior, sporty. Uh, his, and, his and hers, or his and hers, or theirs and theirs. Uh, just... Seats don't need to match it. That neither do body panels. Clearly, um, the good news is that little electric bike, 100% quality. Ha <laughs> ha! Super. Now, we're not going to say, "Well, that's the that's the challenge failed." No, we're going to. I'm, I'm going to use uh, a dirty, cheaty, hacky, flipping, get it over the line, and uh, and you kind of go, "Well, that's the challenge failed." Then you go, "No, it's not," because from here on in, I'm only playing in this challenge mode. So, uh, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and find. Anybody got a got a nice car with ideally with a V8? Because uh, I'm going to steal most of the parts. Uh, this this one right here actually has the V8 that I want, and it's got very minor mechanical problems going on. Yeah, yeah, you see that that would suit me down to the ground. I'll take it. Um, I've no idea. The problem is I've, I've no idea what quality it's at at the moment, uh, so I'm just going to chance it. We'll take this. Uh, we'll take this vantage in because um, that will. Oh look, it's in. It's in pretty good nick. All right, I'll be able to. Uh, I'll be able to cannibalise that for some parts. And you go well. That's, that's surely that's cheating. And you go. It is to an extent, and the extent to which it's cheating is. Uh, 
I can't sell it. At some point, I've got to fix it. And at some point, I'm going to have filled my garage with everything. It's going to be a completely full garage, at which point uh, the wheels will have come off the figurative wagon and I'll be unable to go any further. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll, I'll, I'll show you what's in the what's in the garages at the moment. I, I think I might have one car left to strip. I can't remember. Right, so we've got just Salem over King. Uh, show the car. Go on. There we are. Show me the show me the Salem over King there. And I've taken it apart. I think I might even have left the windscreen in. It hasn't got any wheels. No, no, no. Of course it hasn't. Uh, show me the M3. I've definitely taken that apart. I think I've taken that apart. Um, I started putting the engine back together again on that. Well, I say that. I, I put the engine block together. Yeah, no, it hasn't got any wheels. Yeah, I took them off. Uh, the uh, the original uh, Alenti Calo Pay, um, which is uh, fine and dandy and uh, doesn't have any wheels. It's quite sporty. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't have. Any. Yeah, I've got. I finally got myself a Mustang on one of my uh, one of my later visits to the junkyards. Which is super. Show me, show me the car. Come on. Uh, there, there it is. Does it have any wheels? No, it doesn't. Doesn't have any wheels. No, no, no. no. And then, then the XJ220, which, if I can spin the XJ220, it's about 150 grand's worth of car. That that will keep me in uh, in all kinds of goodness for, for some time to come. But the second I fill my garage, then uh, then the dream dies. You see, that's the thing. Is, uh, is that's the that's the risk. So, so yes, uh, I could most definitely uh, just just jazz up all the cars I've got here by uh, by cannibalising parts from um, uh, from jobs. But that's that's gonna I'm gonna run out of road on that eventually, and uh, and therein lies the dilemma. The, the the bigger challenge would probably be, or rather, the now the only way around that is going to be to probably buy cars from auction. Or buy them from the salon, um, because then uh, I will be able to actually sell those cars on. Uh, the problem with this is that uh, hold on, let's have a look at the job. Uh, what's the problem you've got here? Now you want sixty-eight percent goodness. Oh, every every piece on this car is at sixty-eight percent or better, and you just want me to change the coolant fluid. Super. Now, it's not going to let me return it without uh, other parts being on there. And I'll tell you something for nothing. I'm not going to change the coolant fluid. No, I'm going to start uh, I'm going to start apprehending your parts. Because um, uh, that's that's how we roll here at uh, the Garage O'Dubious. Uh, right, okay. Give me the drain tool. What are you going to drain? Everything. I'm, I'm taking all the fluids out of the lot. And then I'm going to strip this car for its parts. And uh, I'll put together my little Honda. We've reached the end of the episode, friends. Yeah, I know. It's a disappointment, isn't it? Because we've reached the end of the episode. I've got 80 quid left in the bank. That's that's not much. Um, and why, why have we reached the end of the episode? Well, I'm, well, I'm out of money. Um, I've, I've stripped the heck out of this thing, as is plainly obvious. Uh, all the running gear, the entire engine bay, all of that business. And, uh, and here is the little beast. Uh, is it the little beast that could? No, it is the little beast that could not. It's almost there, but uh, it's not there. No. Now, of course, while I was doing this, I'll, I'll explain the dilemma in a moment. Uh, while I was doing this, uh, it occurred to me, why don't you just nick someone's Honda and just take the parts you need off that? And I kind of go, well, that just strikes me as pointless. Just utterly, utterly futile at that point. Um, it won't run. I mean, we're getting some, uh, you know, we're getting a rating on the old V8 that I stole out of that Aston. Uh, but uh, the important part is that it won't actually turn over because it is missing. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right. At ECU. Yeah. Body parts. Yeah. Lights. All that business. Don't care. No, couldn't give it. A, couldn't give a monkeys. Oh, and a and a coolant reservoir, which which is possibly important, but I don't know who's really counting. We got one six percent slick tire on there, but I've got to complete a complete lap of the test track for it to count. So uh, there we go. I've run out of road. I have literally, figuratively, run out of road. Now the thing is, I could rustle up some more cash, so I can't cannibalize anything else. I would have to uh, have to just get in. I'm probably literally a little Honda in order to nick its ECU. But then I'm left with another Honda that's got loads of parts that I could swipe and stick on this one. And that's fine, but it feels wrong to me. 
Um, here is here is the dilemma. I'm going to list out a dilemma for you. These are things that can't be repaired, right? You've got your air filter, both the base and the cover. Uh, you've got arms, you've got belt tensioners, cam gears, cam shafts, cam shaft bearings, cam shaft caps. You've got the crankshaft pulley, the fuel filter, the fuel tank, idler rollers, uh, oil filters, piston rings, uh, the con rods. Uh, you got rocker arms, air filters, more more air filters, serpentine belts. Well, belts of any kind, frankly. If it's made of rubber, it's just not going to work. Uh, you've got your valve push rods, your water pump pulley, your double wishbone shock absorbers, uh, your front shock absorber sway bars, uh, rubber bushings, obviously. Uh, you've got your inner tie rods, your outer tie rods. You've got wheel hub bearings and caps. Uh, you've got brake drums and brake pads. You've got the catalytic converter and, frankly, everything associated with an exhaust pipe. You've got the clutch, clutch pressure bearing plate and release plate and all, the f flywheel and a drive gear and all of this. There is loads of stuff that you can't repair. And there's loads of stuff that spawns really infrequently when you actually go to the junkyard. So that means you're, you're stuffed. It can't be done. So... There you go, I shot the bonnet there in a forthright fashion. I'd like to do it again. Oh, I'm so vexed. There. Yeah. I reeled off that list because I went and looked up exactly what you couldn't fix. And the list is big. And uh, and frankly, the lack of rubber bushings and whatnot is going to kill me. Uh, sooner rather than later. So the, the challenge may well be dead in the water. But it isn't. Because I turn it over to you, friends. How would you like me to proceed from here? Huh? You know, how how should we go? How do I get out of this dilemma? Answers in the comments. And uh, and I'll choose the one I like the best and I'll follow that particular manoeuvre. Uh, just for reference, oh, I'm stuck in it now. Uh, just get get out of here. Yeah, no, leave, leave, get... Hold on, start the car. See? Nothing. Not a sausage. Doesn't work. Car's broken. Uh, what... Yeah, no, no, just to, just to kind of show you. This is the stuff that I've got. Just sat in my inventory. These engine blocks alone, if I were to flog them, quite the pretty penny awaits me out the other end. I've got loads of stuff that's worth big bank, which I could sell, but that would be against the rules. So, what am I going to do? Thank you very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, this has been... An adventure to remember. So in answer to the, the fundamental question, can you run a profitable business selling only running cars using nothing but scrap and an occasional piece of stolen goods? The answer is not for long. Subscribe if you like this kind of rubbish because, I mean, I've just wasted half an hour of your time. You're welcome. And, uh, and you know, sling a comment if you've got a suggestion which stays within the spirit of the law. Catch you next time. Cheerio.